Hi everyone, welcome to Merica Creations. Today I will share with you three DIYs, decor items and the key ingredients for all three of them is twine, different size of twine. So stay tuned for that. For my first DIY, I will use this glass jar and twine and I will have the length from the top to the bottom and a little bit extra on the bottom there and I will attach them two and two like that. I think it's a better finish when they are two and I will put them equally spaced so now I'm just marking out exactly where I want them And now time to attach them two and two and I start at the bottom with a little bit of extra and just put a dot of hot glue just on the bottom of the jar and then make sure that they are straight and a bit of hot glue at the top and then just press them into place it looks like that and I do that all the way around where my markings are. This video is also part of a challenge, Twine It Up Challenge, and it is hosted by Fanny at Creations by Favi, and her co-host is Sandra at The Schwoen's Nest. And if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links to the channels down in my description box along with the link to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration now it's all done it looks like this and uh, now i have to cut off the excess on the top there just leave a little bit because that will be covered by jute twine anyways Then I start on the bottom and I will crisscross them a little bit, put uh, some hot glue into place and just uh, make a nice finish and uh, when I'm done I will just cut off the excess. Once done, it looks like this, nice and neat. Then on to the top where I just put a dab of hot glue and work my way around the neck of my jar. The first row full of hot glue and then I will just wrap the jute twine around and then the end I will also put some hot glue on to make sure it stays in place.
now the jar is almost done and it looks like this you could of course put uh, do twine horizontal as well but I thought it was a nice touch just with the vertical lines of twine and now just for a little tiny embellishment I have these stars that I have left over from another project and I just put a jute twine in between and put the other star on top and then I wrap the jute twine around the neck of the jar and here is the final piece looking super good I think I like the twine and the glass together and just a couple of uh, tall grasses in the jar. For my second DIY I have an even larger glass jar and I have also some letters which spells out home so this will be a uh, kind of a different home sign I start with the letters or some of the letters the H and the O and I will wrap some jute twine around that letter very loosely and not to cover the whole piece and I was out of jute twine so this is, this is jute twine but it is, is with a metal wire in it and I didn't like that super much it was okay but um, I would have preferred just a simple jute twine in this particular project so at the, the start and the end I will just put a dab of hot glue to keep it in place And the same procedure with the O, just wrap it loosely around the whole letter. Now I'm taking a thicker twine more like a thinner nautical rope and I wrap it around itself to create a circle uh, like a sort of a placemat and I will have it uh, the size of uh, the bottom of the jar it's there I want to place it And that's a perfect fit for the jar and now it's time to put in the letters and I will stack them the M and the E on the bottom and I just put a, a little bit of hot glue on the bottom to keep them from falling and now the H and the O and after that is attached I will address the, the top of the jar I have this thick nautical rope that I will make into a handle and I will untangle the ends like so before I put them on with a dab of hot glue because um, it's a lot easier to wrap around the other nautical rope around the neck if they are untangled like that do the same on the other side and then I take the thin nautical rope the same as I had with the mat 
on the bottom of the jar and I attach that with some hot glue and wrap it around the neck of uh, my jar. Just a little dab of hot glue every now and then to keep the rope in place. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. And here it is, my home jar looking cute in my staircase at the moment very rustic a very me could have it in a rustic home in a coastal decor farmhouse for sure i like it tell me what you think For my third and final DIY, it's time to take out the crochet needle and work with some jute twine. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make a circle. It's a bit harder to work with jute twine than ordinary yarn because a normal yarn slides better. And I put in an extra loop every now and then just to keep the piece flat because this is the bottom of my piece. And now it's time for the walls because I will make a little planter, a little jute twine planter. I'm sorry I'm out of frame a little bit. But I think it's better anyway that you see what I'm doing instead of me trying to explain. That would just be more confusing for you. Now you can see that I start to get some walls there. And I'm just working my way up to the height that I want for my little planter. It doesn't have to be a planter though, it could be just a little jutwine jar of some sort, you can put anything in it. I almost have the height that I want and now I take just uh, some single loops, uh, 10 of them I think it was, and I will make a handle and I will attach those just five loops ahead and then work my way to the other side and do the same thing there. And then I will make one extra turn all the way around my piece to get a nice finish over the handles. And as a final touch, I will just wrap some jute twine around my fingers, attach it with another piece of jute twine and uh, make a jute twine tassel.
and I will attach my tassel on the side of uh, my little two twine basket or planter or whatever you want to call it. this is how it turned out i will show you how i styled it and i made two of them and i have them on my kitchen bar one filled with uh, sage and the other one i have a uh, led candle don't put the real ones in there it will go up in flames and it looks so good beside my other twine decor tell me what you think did you have a favorite of my twine decor let me know in the comments if you like this video and videos like this be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos hit that dear white playlist icon straight away and keep on watching see you soon again in my next one until then Take care. Bye.